so I, I would like to re-emphasize uh, some of the methods in the hash that we've talked about in the last few classes. And in particular, how you're going to write a hash that's going to fit in with this, the assignment um, where you're going to have keys and values. Okay. So we're going to have a class, a uh, hash class, which is going to have generic, sorry, generic keys and values. And our hash class for assignment two has to implement the hash i interface for keys and values. Okay. Our linked lists that we're using, our linked lists, we're going to make those linked lists e's. We could make them linked lists k's and v's, add the k and the v to the node in the linked list, but let's abstract it one layer out. Let's make our linked list e's, and then it actually makes it easier because you've got a lot of the code before. And so we need some kind of e that we can put in our linked list. So what we can do in our hash is make a little inner class like we've seen before. So I'm going to call my class hash element because it's something that's going to go in the hash and it's going to be a generic and it's going to accept keys and values. And I'm going to implement, because I'm going to put it in my linked list, it's going to implement comparable and the only thing it knows how to compare are hash element kv. Okay. So my inner class has a key and it has a value. And I'm going to have a constructor And my constructor is going to accept a key of type k and a value of type v. And all I'm going to say is this dot key is equal to key, and this dot value is equal to value. Again, you'd probably write these on two lines. I'm just writing it on one line to save a bit of real estate. So that's basically what we've seen before. Like with our node class, we've had something similar. We've had similar little inner classes. The one thing that this has to do is it has to implement comparable for hash elements, key and keys, and values. So our comparable, if we're implementing the comparable interface, we only have to provide one method, and that is public int Oops. compare to and we're going to compare to a hash element kv because that's the only thing we know how to compare to let's call that h If we look in the description of assignment two, it says that we consider two things to be the same if their key is the same, but not if the value is the same. Okay? So two things are the same if the key is the same, but not the value. That allows us to change the value associated with a key. So all we really need to do here to decide if two things are the same is to compare their keys. But we don't really know what those keys are going to be because they're generics, right? They're generic Ks. So let's actually punt 
and let whoever is using our hash write their compare to method and we'll make them do that by casting that to comparable. So we can just return and all we have to do is cast our key to comparable k and we've got an h here so we'll we'll cast h dot key and we're going to compare that to this dot key So we've cast h dot, k, h dot key, so we've got this variable h, which is just a temporary variable. We've cast h dot key to be comparable k. That means that whoever's using our data structure has to implement comparable of things that are type k. If their types k's are strings, that's fine. They can use the string compare to method. If their keys a type URL or their keys are type IP addresses, then they're going to have to figure out how to compare URLs or IP addresses. We don't know how to do that. That's up to them, okay? Or you, in this case. And then we compare. We call their compare to method, and we compare to this dot key. So we have a nice little inner class that takes the keys and the values. That's what we're going to put into our linked lists in our hash. Okay.